Okay, ahem. <clears throat> Nashu Makaraka waits your approach like a butterfly poised to set off a hurricane. That sounds a lot like Nashu, actually. Tori, I have a new lead, and just as I promised, you're the first to know. Before we get into the details, though, I should give you back your soul container. I gave it a good scrub first, of course, but being the gentleman that he is, I'm sure the inspector wouldn't want to leave any lingering spiritual odors. Thank you. Yeah, I needed that back. Very important. There! Now you can listen to my findings without having distracting thoughts like, when is Nashu going to give me back my soul container? Now, as for the lead I mentioned, I was thumbing through a per periodical and found an article on alien abduction. The way it was described was almost exactly like what happened to the inspector. It even had a little diagram of a man swimming in midair. Anyway, the author seemed convinced that the victim had been taken to the moon. <laughs> this crackpot theory sounds awfully familiar. Why does it sound like the kind of rubbish that Thabnarian Truth publishes? That's because it is! You remember Dorian, the editor in briefs? He was the one who wrote it! <laughs> and he plans on doing research for the next edition on the moon itself! Apparently there's a portal or something in Garlemald that'll take you straight there! Oh, but a world-hopping adventurer like you must have been to the moon already! Now it like the back of your hand, I bet! I do, I do! Been there a lot! I thought so! It'll be nice to have an expert guide up there to help me search for clues. What say you? To the moon, Nashu! We shouldn't be so quick to trust the nonsensical ramblings of a man who sees aliens in every shadow. Nope. To the moon! Right! I'll start packing my bags. Pa packing my bags, not packing. Packing. I don't know what the weather is like on the moon, but I remember Garlemald being a bit chilly the last time I was there. Okay, sorry. Hi, Nashu! Oh, it's much colder than I remembered. I sure hope this lunar gate is close. No, it is very far away. The Tower of Babel? You mean that big spiky spire? Well, we definitely shouldn't get lost on the way there. Let's get moving. So, uh, this thing will send us up to the moon? Just like that. Courage, Noshu. Oh, here we go. Are we going together? <gasps> oh my god, cute. The world is in grave danger and the people deserve to know! I have to reach the moon so I can expose the truth! Oh, it's that guy. As I've explained to you twice already, I can only allow passage to authorized travelers, which you are not. Ah, you're with them, aren't you? The aliens have infiltrated every layer of our society. What in blazes are you talking about? I'm Dalmaskin, born and raised. Oh look, it's Dorian, the editor in briefs. It is very dark. That's Delian, editor in chief. Thank you very much. And you were friends of the abducted, I believe. Tori, greetings. Are you acquainted with this man by any chance? Ah. He exposited in my direction once. No, nor am I affiliated with him in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> he exposited my he talked at me once i think that means like exposition but the verb and that was enough i'd wager he has trouble written all over him tory as in tory talks slayer of gods savior of ishgard liberator of the provinces stealer of pants what when did i steal pants how did I fail to recognize such an unbelievably famous individual? Y'all, I do not remember stealing pants. I feel... I feel like I would remember stealing pants. I really don't think I did that. But what do I know? You know, I've been hit in the head a lot. <laughs> As a champion of the people, you have a duty to lead us through this fact-strangling checkpoint. We cannot let your comrade's abduction go unsolved. He needs you, and the world needs my next article. And do you believe he was taken to the moon? Well, that certainly sounds like an emergency to me. Your acquaintance here seems sincere in his desire to help, so I will grant him special dis dispensation to accompany you just this once. You may proceed to the nether gate. Mysterious forces have thrust us together, and though I trust the fates about as much as I trust that obviously compromised gate guard, I will leave no moonstone unturned. The truth is up there. The truth is up there. <laughs> Here we are. 
Oh, look. I kind of forgot there was that little portal thing. That looks like Law's uh, Jolly Roger. Just a little. Stealing pants so much you don't even think about it? I've never stolen pants. I I pay for my pants on the market board like every other cat girl in Limzo, okay? I don't steal pants. Hi, Nashu. Ew, the moon is just as white and shiny up close. Uh, but not made of cheese and no sign of Inspector Hildebrand either. So we've already arrived. The Empire's technology is more advanced than I feared. <gasps> Over there! The aliens have built some kind of forward base on the lunar surface. We must sneak in and blow the lid on their invasion plans. Oh dear. <gasps> is he gonna run into the Watcher? Oh no. Looks like Dorian has a lead. Come on, we should follow him. This is a terrible idea. No. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> aliens! Honest to God's aliens! I never expected them to be so tall or so small and bunny-like. Welcome! If I had known I was receiving so many visitors, I would have sent for more tea. <laughs> that voice! Speaking inside my head! I don't know the words, but their meaning is clear. Our are they wielding psychic powers to try and brainwash me? Oh, you're right. I forgot the reverb. No! Uh, I'm sorry. You're right there, friend. Need any help with anything in particular? And this one speaks our tongue fluently. Learned it from your Charlian collaborators, I'll wager. Don't think you fool me, what with your adorable bunny nose and silken ears. I'll print the truth before you arrive to beguile my fellow men. Bruh. You're one of Orion J's friends, aren't you? I'm not sure who or what put such odd ideas into your companion's head, but would you mind setting him straight for me? Bruh, I'll try. The Lopperts are not alien invaders, although their adorableness does belay their capacity for shenanigans. <laughs> the Lopperts are allies of all mankind. Misguided attempts to make us live off carrots alone, notwithstanding. <laughs> oh, these are good. They're both good. No, capacity for shenanigans. We won't talk about the carrots. <gasps> they got to you, didn't they? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I've heard the rumors about the disbanded Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The formerly secret society has in truth become all the more secret that it may pull our leader's strings from the shadows. Hmm. Hold it right there, mister. I won't stand here and listen to you slander Tori or this lovely bunny any longer. You better not libel them neither. <laughs> we actually came in search of Inspector Hildebrand, a dashing gentleman who we think was brought here by a shiny flying saucer. You wouldn't happen to have seen either of them around here, would you? I'm afraid. Oh, I know, I broke it. Shit, what's the reverb button? Oh no. Oh, hold on. Is it this? It's this one! <laughs> Professional. I may or may not have just muted my mic. <laughs> I'm afraid I have seen neither. Long was it my duty to keep watch, but as the need for constant vigilance has since ended, I've grown accustomed to idleness. It's rather refreshing, really. Anyway, perhaps the Lopperitz may have observed this man or his abductor? I got to use my trick. Hmm, I feel I would have remembered if I had. The others might have seen something, though. Why don't I take you over to Best Ways Burrow, and you can ask them about it yourself. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Please lead the way. Oh no, I gave Nashu and the bunnies the same voice. <laughs> if nothing else, getting an eyeful of the facilities we built for the benefit of mankind should help reassure your suspicious friend here. Laconic Lopperit. Your name does not fit the naming conventions and I am upsetty spaghetti. So many bunnies! If they can build a forward base on this scale, then what hope does mankind have against them? Oh, for the love of carrots, this is not a military operation. Do you see any cannons or assault craft? We haven't any weaponry at all. Take your time and chat with whomever you like. As for me, I've got perfectly innocuous and not at all nefarious things to do. Bye now! <laughs> right then, 
then let's get on with the investigation. Oh, they're accompanying me. That's a lot of words for an allegedly laconic bunny. I like that I'm pretending I know what laconic means. <laughs> Come here, you two. Discuss the etherite. Look, they even have an etherite here. Sure do. An etherite, a convenient tool for meeting with their Charlian co-conspirators, no doubt. Oh, they'll tell you etherites were an elegant invention, but it was really just one of the many alien technological, technological secrets received in exchange for their undying loyalty. Link Pearl's tool. Be careful what you say on those private calls. The Charlians are always listening. <laughs> this, this guy is too much. <laughs> uh, Laconic is like not talking much, being a few words. Speaks few words. The opposite of Tori. Toxic. Accurate, but toxic. When you do the talk, what do you got to say? I'm taking notes on everything in this base. Floor plans, personnel, abstract tree structures. My next issue will expose their entire operation. Ooh, I just went to nibble on the fuzzy little ears. No, Nasha, you cannot nibble on their ears. Where am I going over here? Oh, I often stretch my legs out here under the stars, but can't say I've noticed anything out of the ordinary. Sorry. Not to worry. We'll try luck elsewhere. Thank you. Furry-faced liars, a lot of them. They're probably hiding in a terribly of alien attack craft. I've decided that guy's American. This guy, the alien dude, Ameri- A hundred percent. He's not British. Very clearly American. Discuss the machinery beneath the floor. Oh, shit. A propulsion engine? Of course. This is no mere moon. <laughs> you know, the satellite upon which we stand was never a natural celestial body, right? It was a grand fabrication of the ancients. They were in contact with aliens even back then, but the purpose of their ambitious construction has eluded us. Until now. It's obvious that the moon is a colossal starfaring vessel. You know what, guys? He's actually right on that one. <laughs> Cool, that's a big fan. It must get hot in here. Oh, ever since we built the Excitatron 6000, we get all kinds of people around here. Could you describe your missing friend in a bit more detail? This is true. I've been on the moon a lot. Well, he's a very gentlemanly and dapper, if you look past the almost certainly tattered state of his clothing. Hmm. Though their fashion sense can be a bit eclectic, our visiting adventurers are always dressed impeccably. Not to be rude, but I have a feeling your friend would have stood out in that crowd. He's probably strapped to a table somewhere, even as we speak, enduring unspeakable experiments. Ugh. From what I've pieced together so far, the giant alien is the master, and all these smaller Xeno bunnies are artificial life forms created to serve as minions in his armies. Their harmless appearance is part of the strategy. As soon as you let your guard down, snap! They take you down like a pack of tiny herbivores. Herb herbivores. Herbivorous wolves. Er, er, herbivorous. Yeah. <laughs> Dorian has some interesting theories, doesn't he? Being nibbled to death by a mob of cuddly bunnies doesn't sound like a bad way to go. <laughs> Tough one. It's herb herbivorous? Herbivorous? Herbivorous. That sounds better. All right. Hello, Weaving Way. Weaving Way. Does that mean this is going to be the crafter? I guess this has to be the crafter one since the gatherers are the, the ultimate tool. <clears throat> Um, no gentleman in ragged clothes, I'm afraid, but I did spot an object in flight that I couldn't immediately identify. It was while I was out gathering materials in the south of Mary Lamentorium. I presumed it was just some elegant relic or a new species of floating jelly jellyfish. I didn't think too much of it. And he's leaving. Why are we letting that guy leave? Cool! Now that sounds promising. Thank you for your time. Oh, tiny sleeping bunnies. What's this then? A pod for growing new Xeno bunnies? <gasps> they must plan to produce them in the millions and overwhelm us with their sheer fuzzy numbers. <gasps> ah, how could I have been so blind? Those aren't ears, they're psychic wave generators. They lure people close with their precious little faces and then bam, <gasps> brainwash. I figured it all out, alien scum. And once the world reads my special edition, your dreams of domination will be done for. Ha! 
What a strange and oddly aggravating man. Is he a friend of yours too? He thinks he's a friend of the people, but I don't think any people are his friends. <laughs> Nashu! That's cold. Right, let's get out there and find that flying object. Uh, do you know which direction is south? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. Don't leave me alone with the brainwashing Xeno bunnies. <laughs> Nashu, why are you standing with the dog? Argos! So many stars, like a million twinkling teeth and a great big gentlemanly smile. Ah, <sighs> we have to find him, Tori. Aw, Nashu misses Hildy. How could you leave me behind? Surely you know the first rule of alien hunting is never split the party. I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, this dog that looks suspiciously like someone we know, pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. But it is a very good, you got, it is very good you got games on your phone. Oh, guys, I think that might need to be where I stand. Search for the flying object. You may move the camera as well as zoom in. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's all I wanted. I want to zoom in on Nashu. Oh my God, she's playing with the dog. <gasps> Chat, she's playing with the dog. Nashu is romping around with Argos, already forgetting why she was out here. <laughs> What are you doing, Dalian? Dalian is searching high and low for any sign of alien vessels, like a true professional. Mm, professional. <gasps> I found it, but I want to. Is there anything else that I can click on? I want to see if there's other stuff I can click on, y'all. No, there's not. Okay. I already found him, but I was. I wanted to click on stuff. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, wasn't he right there? Chat. Wasn't he right there? Did I lose him? Oh, I found it. I found it. Come back. Come back. Oh my God. What are they carrying? Uh. 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 I'm magnifying. Stand still. Oh my God. Oh, it's. Oh my God. Ah, no. Oh. Okay, we did it. Professional video gamer, literally professional video gamer. Don't worry, I finally got it. It was holding like a lollafell. Oh my God, was it, ho it was holding the little lollafell. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the stalker. And there it goes. Come on, we can't let it get away. People run. Right row. Perfect. We did it! Tori, we found the inspector! Case closed. Horrendous! Only aliens could subject a man to such callous and physically implausible fate. Oh! Oh no! Why are there so many of them? <laughs> um, are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or do you see a whole field of planted Hildebrands? Oh my god. <laughs> well, well, what a delightful surprise to see you here. Wherever here happens to be. <laughs> my, what an impressive specimen of a gentleman you are, good sir. Oh no. Are they all Hildy? Oh, this is bad. Oh no. <laughs> Look at their names. Oh, Hildebrand question mark. The same could be said of you, my good man. Oh, and there he goes. Watch out. Oh my goodness. Oh, Hildebrand? Uh, is this an extemporaneous, an extra, extemp? Extemporan extemporaneous extemporaneous mm. is this a gentleman's club if I may be so bold as to join you what y'all are they giving me a vocabulary lesson in the middle of my side quests <laughs> oh god there are so many of them
<laughs> oh, they're having tea over there. Perfect. What in the name of the occult is happening here? Where did they all come from? They're phantom Hildebrands created by the refraction of starlight through swamp gas. Um, it could be their Hildebrand clowns grown in an alien laboratory's flesh vats. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Imposters, you mean? Don't worry, I know just how to find the real inspector. Oh god. Oh no. Chat. <laughs> it's bomb time! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Nashu has one way to solve problems. Cease and desist, Nashu! Your powers of deduction! Your powers are deduction, not destruction. Hmm. They're also authentic and synchronized. I honestly can't tell the difference. That bomb is still ticking. Oh, she blew it out. Well, look no further, for I am the one and only Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. Uh-oh. The one and only? I believe that would be me, good sir. How odd. I think that you'll find that I am the original Hildebrand. Oh, I am more than certain that I am Hildebrand. As am I. Oh god. Oh god. C could it be that we are all Hildebrand? This is this is terrible. <laughs> no, I'm Spartacus. How positively marvelous! I propose we celebrate this auspicious moment as only a mob of Mandeville men can. <laughs> Oh, oh, perfect. What manner of waking nightmare is this? Oh, you know, the usual. Perfect. Perfect. God, this is... <laughs> he literally moonwalked on the moon. Oh, good. Nah, she's also dancing. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Aliens! What's happening? All right. All right. <laughs> oh no. Do they all have? Oh! Unfortunate. What the? Oh, okay. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Apologies for the confusion, my friends. I assure you that this time you stand at the presence of the inim inimitable Hildebrand, Helidor Maximilian Mandeville. And this diminutive blue chap here is my new associate, Master Poo Poo. Hi, I love you, Poo Poo. Another alien species. Is it not poo poo? How do I say it? Oh no, it's over. <gasps> of course, you're building a clone army to invade our star and what we stumbled upon was a field test. I do not believe we've had the pleasure, my excitable fellow, but I promise you that the amical master poo poo, poo pew pew, poo -poo, has no desire to wage any clone wars. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Then what's this all about? Are you telling me you weren't abducted? A simple misunderstanding! <sighs> oh good, more echo. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh ho ho, what a charming little rascal you are! An offshoot of the Mandragora family, perchance? Poo-poo, poo-poo, ah, I see. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Master Poo-poo. <laughs> Is it not Poo-poo? <laughs> oh no. Ahem, uh, might I inquire as to our current whereabouts? I had but recently reunited with Nashu and Tori, and would greatly appreciate it if you could convey me back to my prior location. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going. <laughs> oh no. It's got. I think it has to be poo poo. <laughs> but that's so terrible. Splendid! Full speed ahead, my dear fellow. Steady on now. That is not what I had in mind. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my- oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> Perfect. My word! You've generated a veritable battalion of identical gentlemen! Oh no. Hate this. Surely the world could never safely contain so much pure Mandevillian magnificence. Could you perchance uh, reverse the process? Okay, this just became a horror movie. Mm, I don't like it. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> oh no, it literally pulled a Nashu. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, look at him. Do you hear the footsteps echoing? <laughs> the feet being in such like perfect like poses is so great. <gasps> oh no, one got off. Oh no, one left. It's over. We lost one. Oh gods, no, not like that. <gasps> Are they gonna go chase it? Mommy! <laughs> oh god. Thus, I have concluded that Master Poo Poo has no grasp of the common tongue, and his true intentions, while surely peaceable, remain woefully unclear. It was only through frenzied gestures that I managed to direct him back here and have him clean up our Mandeville multiplicity incident. Poo Poo, I hail Poo 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 from a star, Poo Poo, a great distance from here. Poo poo, I came in search of a friend whose communications halted mid exploration. Wait, is it just me? Oh, I'm echoing. Ah, I understand. I got some echo going on. <clears throat> oh, this way to aid a comrade in distress, you say? The devotion, the determination. Your touching story has sunk its hooks into my heart. Fear not, my blue-hued friend, for I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and spectre extraordinaire, have attached myself to this case like a stubborn barnacle on a kraken's behind. I swear to you, here and now, I shall scour all of creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, for the missing comrade that you so desperately seek. <laughs> Oh my god, we scared him. Or, or he's happy. I can't tell. Mm, okay. Adorable. I am glad you are here to help ward off any more poo-poo misunderstandings. I'm here to help poo-poo. Love you. An entirely new species of aliens. The next issue of The Truth will need to be a special double edition. 
Mr. Pippi's eyes make me feel dizzy, like swirls that go around and around and around and around. Tell me, Tori, how is it that you're able to understand Master Poo Poo's language? I got me the echoes. The power of echoes? Ah, you mean persistent repetition? It sounds fam similar to the Mandevillian art of parlay. You're saying you have an extrasensory ability that allows you communication with aliens? How fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. Pending mysteries aside, I am glad indeed to once more be in the company of my faithful assistant and stalwart contemporary both. Thanks. Ozzy Cam, Ozzy Cam. Do not walk over the carpet. Okay. He's right there. He's on the carpet. Listen, our carpet is sitting up weird because I had to steam clean it because there were ants again. So he's vibing. You guys are getting Aussie cam. Your Aussie time has been uh, upgraded. Ridiculous. Congratulations. We get Aussie cam. Also shoes and all of his all of his toys are there. <laughs> anyway, all right, Hildy. That's terrifying. <clears throat> the imperfect gentleman, unfazed by events that would shatter the mind of a lesser man, Hildebrand stands ready to begin his next case. So begins the case of the silent correspondent. Uh, not to rain on your parade, but my friend who was somewhere on your star has stopped sending me messages is not a lot to go on. I've spent years investigating the existence of aliens and recent experiences notwithstanding, they are not that easy to find. Then you would know Inspector Hildebrand. He'll solve this case as he solved countless others with unerring perception and panache. Ah ha ha ha! Well said, Nashu, but uh, I need but relinquish co conscious thought to investigative instinct, and the clues will flow to me forthwith. <laughs> oh! Lose yourself in the detective current, Inspector! <gasps> You're channeling, aren't you? Contacting a higher power to breach the veil of mystery? Another fascinating development. Oh, hello, Lobbert. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been looking all over. Thought you would like to know that I spotted that chap you were talking about. You know, the well-muscled gentleman, well gentleman with tattered clothing and dazzling teeth? You mean this gentleman? We found him too. Well, that can't be right. I just saw him in the north of Mary Lamentorium, and he ran the other way when I called out. I don't understand how he could have arrived before me. I have a feeling, Mr. Bunny, sir, that what you saw was an imposter. Tori, would you mind asking Mr. Poo Poo if he was growing any more inspectors on the moon? I We saw one run away. I only created a single batch, but one did manage to escape the vaporization beam. That individual's behavior was unpredictable. A flaw in the cloning process, I'm afraid. Poo poo flies him now. <laughs> well, this won't do at all. We cannot have a flawed inspector running around besmirching the mandible name. Master Poo Poo, I must ask that we hunt down and liquidate my other self as soon as possible. Might we delay the search of your comrade until the deed is done? Poo Poo, the imperfect clone was of my making. It is only right that I redress my mistake first. I'm making it talk like a like a moogle. So begins the case of the imposter inspector. Ooh, that does sound exciting. If you don't mind me coming along, I can show you the place where I saw the imposter inspector. Na, 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 na. I espy with my little eye, uh, no dashingly defective gentleman. 
He can't have made it that far on foot. Why don't we try searching the immediate area? Scan the horizon, that kind of thing. Then I suggest we split up so we can cover more ground. Nashu, Tori, and I will investigate the northwest. Right, I'll take these other two and head northeast. Splitting the party again? And you're leaving me with the aliens? Oh, relax, bright eyes. We'll have a nice chat, and I can disabuse you of all those strange conspiratorial notions. Oh, and we can't get we can get to know our new friend here. He's like, you're sending me off with the aliens. <clears throat> Let us be on our way as well, with Tori in the van, if you please. Perfect. Yes, I am so happy that the follow is like a thing now. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. <clears throat> Discuss the Cradle of Darkness. Oh, look down there. They have their very own hot spring. That is not a hot spring. My dear Noshu, what you are observing is no hot spring, but a natural reservoir of ceruleum. With uh, such a rich resource to hand, it's no wonder they can afford these palatial residences. I'm glad you're here to educate me, Inspector. I was about to take a quick soak. Girl, you would burn alive. Behold this sublime vista. Tis as the moon it herself breathes beneath our feet. Oh, look down there. They have the very own hot spring. Oh, okay. Talking to both of them does, does the same thing. When you're up in the sky. When you're up in the sky, our world's a pizza pie. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> She sings! Cutie! Being on the moon reminds me of that time I was blasted all the way to Dalamud. I do believe that was a personal best in terms of distance flung. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go see. Let's go do the quest. What am I looking for? Search for clues with Nashu and Hildebrand accompanying you. Are these things gonna boot me? I actually don't know. I don't think so. I'm not 10 levels over though, so they might stay away. Boom, 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 boom. Hammer struck thinker. Oh no. <gasps> A hammer. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That is unfortunate. A goldsmithing hammer is lodged in the, the thinker's carcass. It appears to have been dealt a single swift killing blow. You know who's got a goldsmith's hammer? Monkas. Cool, the bugs grow big up here, don't they? Th this hammer? Surely it cannot be. Nay, it does not bear thinking about. I knew it. It's your dad's. I knew it. Come along. Uh, nothing to see here. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh my god, do I have to walk all the way around? Because they can't... What happens if I get them out? Oh, Pog, okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot, you know. Discuss the starry sky. What a dazzling display of stars. Not a single cloud in sight. In fact, I've never seen the night sky so clearly. Now that you mention it, it's been night time the entire time I've been here. How much longer until the dawn breaks, do you think? That's very funny. Oh, oop, uh, mm. They say the same things, right? What a dazzling display of stars! Okay, cool. Let's make sure. I was too afraid to break it. Uh, well, actually, I don't. I don't. I don't think this happens. But like, if there, if there was the ability to ride in mounts with these people, I would be so happy. Which means I'm trying to find the car mount. Where's my stupid car? Do I not have the car mount saved? There it is. It's not favorited. Wow. Oh, put the NPCs in the car with me. Going for a ride with the gang. Well, I was saying that if they gave us that, I would get married in game just so that I could ride around. Oh, I found it. Just so that I could ride around. Oh, I didn't find it. Uh, I want to ride around with Graha on the marriage chocobo. <laughs> 
My cat girl deserves it. Hammer struck moose. Another goldsmithing hammer. Another killing blow that bespeaks unparalleled strength. Oh, it looks like he's yawning. The hammer stuck in his head spoils the effect, though. He cannot be here. Why would he be here? That's a goldsmithing tool, isn't it? It does look awfully familiar. And yet completely unrelated to our case. Uh, moving on, people. Moving on. How funny. I'd get married and ride around over with each troll. I respect it. You gotta, you gotta respect it. You gots to respect it. Okay. <gasps> Trail of fancy footprints. <gasps> Guys, there's fancy footprints. A set of gentlemanly tracks leads to the northwest. Oh, all right. Ozzy left Ozzy Cam Town, so. Thank you, Reniculus, for purchasing Aussie time with your Toritos. I hope that was a satisfactory transaction. Aha! In the sand, in the snow, or in a half ilm of moon dust, I'd recognize those fancy footprints anywhere. They're a perfect copy of mine. Our fugitive imposter must be just up ahead. I sense a gentlemanly presence. He is close, very close. No clones in the northeastern quadrant that we could see. <gasps> I hear it. That's clever. Mr. Poo Poo can scout for us from the air. Hildy, don't go run off. Aha! I found me! What's he doing up there? Hello? <gasps> the drama. Why is he- what's with the face? Why is he pouting? Why? Why did I flee? What is this? He seems sad, downcast, very uninspector-like. A flawed creation, to be sure. Such negative emotions would never mar the heart of a true Mandeville man. <laughs> we nod. Yes, surely. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What's with this spacewalk music? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Uh Da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, he killed another one! Oh no. <laughs> the pout. Praise Thal for his patience. Twould seem my beloved Hildy has been awoken from his unnatural slumber. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck happened? He missed. Can he miss? Oh my god. He's acting so much not like Hildy. The Hildy clone. Abandoning my gentlemen comrades to save myself. My pride in worse tatters than my maltreated wardrobe. That's so funny. <laughs> He's... My fatherly love denied. Unthinkable. Unless that is not my son. <laughs> Nashu's waving. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, he ran. Well, it's over. It's over. <gasps> oh my god. On your mark, get set. <laughs> oh! Holy shit. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! The jumps, bro! No! Did he get him? They <laughs> 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 were over here like, woohoo! <laughs> Another of me survived! I'll not turn tail and run this time. No, sir! Hildebrand to the rescue! Oh, this is not going to go well. What is happening? <laughs> the flowers! Why are there flowers? Whoa. Well, all right. <laughs> round and round, as fast as I can. I can't slow down. I'm a mandible man. Mandible dance of the ephemeral twins. Oh no. <gasps> A new record. Oh. Thank you for saving us with your spaceship, Poo Poo. That's so good. <gasps> oh my god. They're boogers. <gasps> what? No. What is this? What have you done? Oh no, bro. <laughs> what is this? Did we just open up a secret portal? Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> oh yes, let's go! Dude, if I don't get this Lopper at dance, I'm gonna cry. What even happened? Wait, what happened? Who is that it? <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. That can't possibly be real. Oh, that was a little something we were preparing to welcome the people of Aetherus. I almost forgot it was still there. Oh no, someone help Poo Poo! Help him! <gasps> oh, this is dramatic. Oh no. What are those? Oh! Oh, thank you, Godbert. What is happening? I saw a kid new. I saw the chicken. I saw the chicken. Oh my god! There's the kid. Well, not kid, but there's the thingy. Oh, and an onion. Oh god. The virage appears to have stopped, but just look at all this junk. Please be sure to pick up your litter before you leave. The moon belongs to everyone, you know. <laughs> Shiny. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Ooh. What's this? Oh, -ho. tell us about it, Godbert. Wow, he really has sausage fingers, don't he? Oh my god, look. <laughs> There's Sweet Bean! 
Oh, goodbye, Hilda Copy. Godbird doesn't want his friend. I know, Hildy's friends can't get hurt. Insane. Hildebrand, Helador, Maximilian Mandeville, how glad I am to see you up and about. Your mother will be beside herself with joy. How did how did he get up here? <laughs> I only stand before you now thanks to Nashu, who stood ever vigilant at my bedside, and to Tori, who ferried my soul back from across the rift. My son is indeed blessed with comrades of quality. You have my heartfelt gratitude. Always. Anytime, my friend. To you, Master Poo Poo, I expend my apologies. In my excitement, I fear I have broken your starship, and if there is aught I can do to help, eff help effect repairs, you have only to ask. Poo Poo, my vessel experienced a temporary malfunction, but there was no major structural damage. Oh, that's good. It brings me relief and joy to hear it. Ahem, uh, might I have a word, Tori? I have actually come to the moon in search of a certain certain rare ore, and by Thal's good graces, my quest has been successful. Oh shit, let's go! This ore, however, is but the first step of a longer saga. Meet me back in Rodzathan, and I will explain the role I wish you to play. I was really wondering how we're going to get from this disaster verse to relic weapons, and I found it. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, I think it's best we made the journey starwards. We'll not find Master Poo Poo's friends from up here unless someone packed an extremely effic efficacious spyglass. Anybody? Hmm? No. Home it is then. <laughs> uh, this guy's just going back home. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I love Lil Poo Poo. Why he's so cute though? <clears throat> For years, I've chased after the supernatural and the inexplicable, but to encounter so much of it in such a short span of time, my mind still reels from the implications. Yet I must keep my gaze focused beyond the veil. A chance like this comes but only once in a lifetime. Uh, I kind of can't believe they showed that lopper it dance. What? like two patch videos ago <laughs> ah. all right <gasps> alien poo poo you needn't worry about the clones returning to plague you the vaporization ray disassembles uh matter on a molecular level well that's good to know oh how lovely to be back on the star of my birth father did not tarry to chat but said something about returning here with a trusted employee oh we get a cutscene well, we've no time for further familiar pleasantries. Nashu and I must divert our mental energies to the case of the silent correspondent. My keen inspector's sense impels me to begin searching that direction. Make haste, my companions, for justice awaits for no man, not even one who is little and blue. Inspector, wait! Can't Justin make it, justice make an exception for me? <laughs> Did you see him running? Oh my gosh. His challenge appears to be remarkably effective. Fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. Tori, forgive me. I seem to have been laboring under a misconception. After spending some time with the Xeno Bunnies, it has become clear to me that they have not the slightest intention of invading our star. They are no threat to us. Good. I'm very happy that you finally got to that conclusion. But he is. You know whom I speak. That devious Master Poo Poo and his diabolical device is devised solely for world domination. I shall have to investigate him further to learn of the intricacies of his plans, but I may require your aid, not to mention your interpretation. I'll even pay you a retainer fee, so please, when the time comes, join me on my quest for the truth! God. I knew he was going to be the person I had to tag along with. <gasps> he put on clothes! Let's go, Dad. <clears throat> ah, Tori, my apologies for the wait. Shall we proceed to business, then? The task at hand concerns nothing less than a family legacy. 
the recreation of the historically significant and astronomically magnificent Mandeville weapons. They were the designs of a distant ancestor, you see. While the originals have long since vanished, the manual containing the secrets of their construction survived, a precious heirloom passed down through generations of Mandevilles. Why the sudden passion for weaponsmithing? Aren't your hammers built for hammering gold? Mm. Why the sudden passion for weaponsmithing? Well, tell me all about what's happening. Why? Tis true that, as a goldsmith, I've had little occasion for crafting implements of war. Why this project, and why now, you may very well ask, then I shall very well tell you. The tale begins not so long ago. I was here in Rosaton to discuss a deal with an up-and-coming merchant. The matter in question was an acquisition proposal. Alas, the talk soured, so I made preparations to depart. It was then that the sky burst into flame. You know all too well what horrors followed. I did my best to defend the citizenry from the beast which spawned, yet I could not save them all. Saved far too few, in fact. Oh, he was here? That really actually sucks. The memory it haunted the memory of it haunted me day and night. I found myself unable to work, but then I heard the news of how you and your companions had ventured forth to banish this evil at its source. You forged on in the face of deepest despair and it gave me the courage to do the same. I took a good, good, hard look in the looking glass and asked, what can Godbert Manderville do to safeguard the people of this star? Thus did I realize that I had both the knowledge and the skill to forge the greatest of weapons, that I might empower others to protect themselves and their fellow man. So I began going down the list, acquiring the necessary materials with single-minded purpose. One of these was a goodly chunk of purest mandarium ore. Mandarium? Like Manderville? <laughs> a metal found exclusively in meteorites, and that only rarely. I searched high and low, scouring impact sites and consorting with kobolds, all to no avail. Then, when none was to be found on Hydaelyn, I set my sights on the moon, where I at last obtained a sizable sample. Now I say, at last, but the list of materials goes on. If I'm to collect the rest in a timely fashion, I must employ the help of a comrade of quality. <gasps> Is it me? Am I the comrade of quality? <clears throat> when you can spare a moment from adventuring, or aiding my dear son in his inspecting, Pray drop a word in the ear of my manservant here. Hello, manservant. I shall clear my schedule of trivial interruptions, and we can proceed with the recreation of the Mandeville weapon forthwith. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere in Rodzit Han. What is happening in Rodzit Han? Suspicious. <gasps> oh my god. That's the mom, right? Oh, she mad. Ah! Well, I guess we don't know who it is. <laughs> ah. oh. I like that they legit use the spooky music. Oh my god. You guys are not very good guards. Goodness gracious. What the? In jail? What's in jail? What do you, don't pick that up. That's not for you. <gasps> oh wait, maybe it's not the mom. That's not good. Don't touch that. That's not for you. I, that's terrifying. Wait, I hate that. Sound the alarm! A prisoner is escaping! Oh my god. Bro. You guys gotta be faster. This is some Home Alone bullshit. What is happening? <sighs> yes! On solid ground or far out of this world, beyond the truth lies the weird and absurd. Beloved son, he's a second to none. Our agent of inquiry, Hildebrand Manderville. Definitely not an alien clone. See you, Inspector. 
These are very cute. The pouty Hildebrand though, mm, 